Hey guys, it's Marjorianne here, and today I'm going to tell you guys a story time of the time I caught my parents making my little sister, conceiving my little sister, if you know what I mean. I caught them doing the dirty dirty. So, this story takes place back, obvious, like I said, they, I witnessed my parents conceiving my little sister. My little sister is currently 13 years old, I'm 20. And my little sister is 13. So this is 13 years ago. And I was 7 years old. 7 or 6. 6 about to turn 7, okay? Oh, no, I wasn't. I was like 5. Turning, yeah, I was 5 about to turn 6. 5 and a half about to turn 6. At this time, because 9 months gap before she came into this world. So I was like 5 and a half, okay? So um, when I was 5, and actually the first six years of my life i lived in a little place near la called glendale okay so i lived there for six years of my life and we lived in a one room apartment and i had an older sister with me so it wasn't just it, we didn't have three i didn't have a little sister at the time it was just me and my older sister okay so i was still the youngest at the time obviously because i witnessed her conceiving my little sister but um, we were all in one room. So my dad, my mom, my older sister, and me, we all slept in the same room, but not all in the same bed. Thank God. But, um, my older sister and me, we both had t our own twin beds. Okay. So we fit three beds and one room. So this is the room. The room is probably the size of your living, of your family room. Okay. Your family room or living room. That's how big the bedroom was okay so um my bed was a twin bed and it was facing this way okay and my parents bed was a queen bed and it was right beside me it was next to me okay right beside we were parallel to get to each other okay my older sister's twin bed was on the foot of my parents bed so that's how the room was set up okay so I'm a very light sleeper since I was born. I was a very light sleeper. No, I was. I am. I'm still a very light sleeper. So if till this day, like my parents wake up at 5 to go to work and I wake up at 5. I go to work at home, you guys. I don't have to wake up at a certain time. I shouldn't be awake at 5 o'clock. But I'm awake at 5 o'clock almost every day because my parents are super loud. So I wake up at 5 because of them. And I can't go back to sleep until they wake me up. So I barely get any sleep. And that's beside the point I'm a light sleeper um I was six years old I was sleeping and I wasn't really f used to sleeping by myself or like in my own bed I just got that bed um before I spent like five of my five years of my life sharing a bed with sharing a twin size bed with my older sister so we used to sleep together in one bed for like five or four years so I was used to having someone sleep next to me and my parents were like, oh, you're getting older, so we're going to give you your own twin size bed. So I think it's only been like a couple nights since I was, I first slept by myself in my own bed. So I, I, already, I already wasn't sleeping well because I was kind of scared. I don't know why, since my whole family was in the same room with me. But I was, it just felt weird. Okay, so I was already not sleeping well. And I'm a very light sleeper regardless. And I heard, one night I was sleeping, and I heard a bed squeaking. And I turn around, my head was like facing the closet because I was like placed right next to a sliding closet anyway. So I turn around and I turn over and I look at my parents' side and I see my mom on top of my dad, cowgirl style. Okay, so that was her position and she was like this, pushing herself up. You guys know the girl, cowgirl style. Okay, ow! But anyways, she was doing that, they were doing the thing thing. And she was moaning and she was talking in Tagalog. So she was saying stuff like, mmm, ansarap, ansarap, which means delicious, or it also means good or feels good or something like that. So that was disgusting and traumatizing. And yeah, they had a curtain. It was like, I want to say it was probably 5 o'clock, around to turn 6 o'clock in the morning. So the sun was kind of peeking out and was showing shadows. And, um, it had a shadow. Like, I would turn around and there was, like, light. And my mom's body would be on top of my dad. And I was in my dad's head like that. So it was kind of like a little shadow show. In a way, 
and I saw them, even though it was a real shadow because they were like right there. I wasn't looking at a shadow, I was looking at them. But they were casting the shadow as well, like next to him. So I was just like I took my blankets up and I put them up like that because I didn't want them to know that I was awake the whole time. But I was. And I knew that they were doing it. Now now I know. Not back then I know what the hell they were doing. But now I know because three months later my mom found out she was pregnant with my little sister. So yes, I witnessed the making of my little sister. So that was my little story time of the time that I caught my parents doing the dirty dirty. So actually I actually caught I actually knew they were doing the dirty dirty while we were living in that one bedroom apartment with two little kids. I mean me and my older sister were the two little kids that were in there too. But they would find different times to do the dirty dirty because they were both working, they don't have a lot of time. But I remember this one specific Easter. I mean, it's irrelevant, but I want to tell this story. Um, one Easter, um, my parents would do Easter hunts inside the house in our little apartment. And they would hide eggs around the apartment to keep us busy so we wouldn't go into the bedroom. Because the bedroom, that one bedroom in the whole apartment was my shit because I love watching TV. So I would just sit on my bed and watch TV the entire time. If I could help it, I would just sit in that bedroom the entire time. Like, I would get pissed whenever they would make me get out of the room. So I would just... So they had to distract me and make me get out of the room. So at Easter, they were hiding um, eggs. And I was on an egg hunt with my older sister. And we were just hiding. We were just, like, finding eggs while they went into the bedroom. And they locked the door. And then I would go... I would walk to the door every time I would find an egg. I would, like, knock on the door and be like, Mommy! Mommy, I found an egg, mommy. And they're like, okay, 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 very good. Find the other ones, find the other ones. And I'll go back and I'll look at it like this at every corner. I'll find another egg and I'll have two eggs this time. I'll go, mommy, mommy, I found another egg, mommy. And they'll be like, okay, okay, find all of them, find all of them. So it's so funny now that I know that what they were doing. So, that's my story time. Hope you guys like it. And let me know down below if you ever caught your parents doing the dirty, dirty. Okay, bye.